Hey everybody, welcome to another unboxing and review of my Star Trek Starship collection. Uh, the next ship uh, for this episode is the Excelsior class, specifically the USS Excelsior NCC 2000. There she is. Alright, let's open her up. Gently remove her. Oh, I think this might actually be easier than I thought. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we'll put her over here. Alright, so we got the stand here, uh, as always. Made out of metal. Bottom has the felt backing with the little thing written down on it. A little dusty in my room today, sorry about that. USS Excelsior NCC 2000. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Excelsior was the NX 2000. This might be a mistake, or maybe there's a perfectly good explanation for this. Uh, but I, I, I have, I have a very strong recollection of this being the NX 2000. But we'll see. All right, so I'm just gonna put that there, and as with all ship stands with the base. In the middle, or with the stand in the middle, this thing is solid. Now let's look at the ship. Here we go. The Excelsior class. Captain Oh My. Or I should say Captain Sulu. <laughs> Pretty nice looking ship so far. Get a nice close up of the hull here. And as you can see, there is ass checking on the hull, which any of you who've seen my videos knows that I really like seeing the ass checking because it really adds to the detail of the ship. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Definitely has the ass checking. Loving the detail where uh, the phaser ball turrets would be located. Of course, you don't actually see the ball turrets, just their, uh, their positions. And I'm pretty sure these here and here are RCS thrusters. Get the bridge right here. Got some nice detail along the back. And in the, uh, in the cell struts. Let's go for the side view. Looking pretty good so far. Wow. Okay. So, when the hull catches a certain type of lighting, you can really see the Aztecing. You see that there? Look at all that Aztecing. Freaking beautiful. And once again, you got the phaser bolt turrets all along here. Closer look at the uh, secondary hull. Get a closer look at these nacelles. Get a back view here. It's a very long ship. It's really hard to get the camera to focus on the uh, impulse engines. But the, uh, here we go. Impulse engines are looking pretty nice too. Okay, so the, each is the best way to view the deflector dish. Get the ribbing around the neck just fine. That Aztec is looking so awesome right now. Really nice detail on this model. Get a side view here. Back view. A front view. Bottom view, and back to the top view. Definitely looks very, very nice. Definitely well put together. This is beautiful. Now let's see what it looks like on its stand.
Okay. So I'm pretty certain this is not what it's supposed to look like. Uh, <laughs> so the, for those of you collecting, this does not connect to the uh, nacelle struts. I'm pretty sure this is meant for the saucer. Yeah, much better. <laughs> so as I move it around, it doesn't jostle. It's very well on there. So uh, yeah, this looks this looks pretty neat on the stand. It's probably one of the most stable ones uh, I've, I've come across. Pretty neat. All right, uh, let's uh, go on to the magazine. All right, guys, let's check out the magazine. Excelsior here. Oh, what's this? A letter telling us that uh, my dedication plaque was going to be late. Yeah, well, I got it, so we're good. <laughs> That's a really nice shot of the front. Uh, definitely a CG model. So another nice shot of the CG model. Maybe some shots from its brief appearance in Star Trek 3. Where it is the NX2000. Maybe by the time Sulu got it, it was the NCC2000. Oh, there's Yeoman Janice Rand. Now, for those of you who don't know, the NX designation is for experimental starships, and this was an experimental starship at the time before Sulu was captain. So, this actually makes sense that it would be NCC uh, when it uh, finally went to service. A 3D model. Top and side, front and back. Looks pretty cool. This is an earlier concept of the Excelsior. That's interesting. I've actually never seen that before. Conceptual art. Oh, here's some other versions of the ship. Wow, I've never actually seen any of these before. Studio model, where once again you can see it as the NX2000. Pretty cool. I'm guessing either they redressed it as the USS Lakota for Deep Space Nine, or they just built another one. Who knows? Probably in the magazine, but I'm not gonna read the entire thing. Time is short, and that's it. As you can see here, the next magazine, or sorry, the next issue uh, is the USS Defiant. Well, that was pretty neat. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and rate this thing. So um, the displayability of this model is definitely uh, high up there. Um, it, it doesn't wobble; it's securely in place. Uh, I trust that this could be on display without any actual harm coming to it. It looks great on its stand. Uh, for displayability, this gets a, a ten out of ten. Now, for the overall appearance of the ship, Excelsior was never really my favorite ship. Um, a lot of people have said that the, the Sovereign class, the Enterprise E, uh, uh, the designer took design cues from the uh, Excelsior. And when you compare this to the Sovereign, you can really see uh, some similarities between the two. Uh, personally, um, if that design lineage is, is true, I, I personally prefer the Sovereign over the, uh, the Excelsior. Uh, however, uh, this is a very well done uh, recreation of the Excelsior. It is beautiful. Uh, the, their quality is great. The Aztecing looks amazing. There is not a single blemish on this thing. Uh, the nacelles seem to be on straight. This was well put together, and this is going to get a 10 out of 10. Looks really, really good. Very nice addition to my collection. Well, that's it for this video. Please uh, give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if you don't. Um, please, any, any comments you want to leave, uh, suggestions, ideas, anything to make this show better for everyone, 
uh, please leave them in the comments below. I take criticism very well. <laughs> I am an artist and I like constructive criticism. Uh, and I'd like to uh, I'd like to make this a fun show for everybody. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please click on that subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the bell located next to the subscribe button and to turn on notifications so that when my videos get uploaded, you will all be notified and get to enjoy them. If you like this video and want to see more content like it uh, or my other content, uh, check out my videos displayed here on my past videos. I do a lot of unboxings for Loot Crate, uh, the Firefly Cargo Crate, Sci-Fi slash sci fan block from nerd block uh, i also do these unboxings and i do let's plays for star trek online and counter strike so uh check those out if you uh if you're interested all right everybody thanks so much for watching see you all next week